Hello everyone and welcome back to my RP2000 career in Kerbal Space Program 1.8.1 where I last left this MH and Mon 3 depot in orbit around the Earth and we need to transfer it over to the Moon so our lander can get to it, potentially. Uh, among other things, it might be able to refuel other things too. But first, let's do the transfer that we've already plotted here. Oh gosh, it's taking a long time to turn this thing. No, we're not getting the fuel cell right now. Okay, there. Uh, let's just ignite and try and turn like that. We're quite late, though. Okay, and shut down. Woo, that was close. Okay, but considering our start of the burn wasn't very close, what do we have? We've got an encounter, at least. Well, I guess it could be worse. Okay, which way around is the lander going? Well, we're out of phase with it. That's not great. It's gonna have to come down soon anyway. Okay, so let's go orbit retrograde. Not that this is gonna take any decent amount of time. Lots of RCS fuel though. Okay. All right, all right, well, uh, we'll take that for now. So, yeah, we've got a little bit of an inclination, but we could probably fix that when we capture. So, this is on its way. Uh, shall we start rolling out the other thing? I don't know if the pad's ready. No, it's still reconditioning. Yeah, I need bigger thrusters on the bottom of this. Or, they could be angled differently. They're pointing too close to through the center of mass. Uh, but that's because I wanted them to... Well, I mean, the sideways thrusters is... On these blocks, there's two downward ones and two sideways ones. Yes, it's just as best as it can do with the thrust that it has. There are about 111 newtons. Okay. Right, we are recharging. Okay, well, this time we want to be pulled out of warp for the... Launch pad reconditioning. I want to roll out the next one. I'll take three days anyway, so... We'll be done with this. Well, not quite done with this part, but we'll be close enough. Get this done first. Okay, we are in Moon SOI. Problem is, we're, like, diametrically opposite the phase of our target, which is not necessarily the worst thing. But it does mean that we'll have to get both into a low orbit before we can effectuate a rendezvous. I think we'll do the first burn with just the stage, so... I'll leave it like that initially. Okay, there's the moon. I probably should have budgeted more time for turning here. Okay, well... I guess it's not too delicate on time anyway. Selling the fuel down. And ignition. Okay. We can just run this to depletion. The inclination is not too bad, but we can use the RCS here too. But it's gonna take too long. All right, all right, all right. So, uh, it's good separation and stuff ready. Some of this fuel is locked. That's not all our delta V. Remember, this is just a delta V that we use as our working system. Oh, the inclination is changing. I guess we can unlock all of it now. It's just for budgeting reasons. A whole 8,431. After all, it is just a tub, so... Just a tub of propellant. Yeah, the periapsis going down is no problem right now, anyway. Okay, but it's getting to be a little bit rough, that per periapsis right there. Okay, let's hold on there. Target's periapsis is really 28 kilometers. <laughs> Let me check how many ignitions we have with this thing. 
Uh, 37 left, so not a big deal. Okay, well, we can correct the rest of the inclination via the target, the lander, because it's already in a high orbit. So, yeah, it's going to need to come down here to get the fuel. Let's switch to it. Well, it's it's targeting one of the capsules, though. Umbra's scrap or something. So maybe we won't correct its inclination. We'll have the, the depot correct its inclination instead. Maybe we can lift up that periapsis first. Oh, well, that's high enough. Let me get the depot to correct its inclination. There's analysis debris right there, but we can't do anything about that. Accidental rendezvous with analysis debris. Okay, well, point one one we'll have to do. I don't want to get into render range of analysts, otherwise it might trigger the start of the life support consumption. Okay, we have targeted the depot temporarily. How many ignitions do we have of this thing? Oh, this is the same type, yeah. Okay, well, we're getting more data points. There's Earth. Okay, here comes the approach opportunities. A little purple marker. Okay, well, this one will have to be the last swing around of the purple marker, I think. The rest we will do when the two meet up. Okay, and... Well, they can RCS the rest. Well, 3.4 will do. Okay, so we've got a meetup point. We will have to do 258 meters per second when we get there, but we are going to get refueled, so... This is all automated. We must have communications, though. That Earth is right there, so it should be fine. Well, I guess I'll have to get started. Uh, not retrograde. Let's see, lines are a little bit tenuous. Uh, yeah, we're just before Earthrise here. So, ignition. Okay, Earth is rising. I was a little bit late on this burn. Let's actually save ignitions on this and have the depot do the rest. Oh, right. Well, soon enough we'll be able to switch over there. Okay, ignition. Quickly, quickly. Getting out of render range now. So we'll just have this tug the lander over to the Kerbal we rescue to do the landing. That way the lander will not deplete any of its fuel. Or its ignitions. Okay. And... We have docked. Alright, so... Now, let's just... Transfer fuel over. Mm, there wasn't any in this. Make sure that we are getting electric charge. And then we will launch the return vessel. Okay, we are charging. Okay, I'll just leave it like this, even though it's not optimal. Well, I mean, yeah, uh, yeah, we'll just leave it like this. Okay, so it is charging, though it probably won't actually charge while we're not focused on it. And we'll see. Who knows? But on to the return vessel launch. Okay, so we are going to send this without any crew and try to pick up the three Kerbals that we're going to try to pick up. Analysts, Munber, and Orloff, Lorf. And I've decided that we will try for all three because we've put the extra fuel around the moon that we can use to refuel things. It occurs to me, of course, none of them can actually get into this directly. They will all have to be picked up by the Mark 1 lander can and then brought to this individually. So that's a little bit inconvenient, but yeah, we'll figure it out. So anyway, 
as a son throttles up if we only get two we only get two okay and ignition and launch okay all the engines are go on the bright side we really only need food water and oxygen for the time around the moon and the way back I should just get the Cat and Escape Canaveral in here, I think. But I wanted to keep the install simple. We are going for a simple install here, except for the KSP Interstellar. And <laughs> okay, maybe not so simple, but that was just to fill out the end portions of the tech tree. We have USI as well. We don't really need the launch escape system, somebody pointed that out, but um, we might want to recover the pod. Uh, I don't know if there would be any situation, uh, definitely at this point we wouldn't need it anymore, but if there was some mishap right on launch, we might need to pull the pod off quickly. Okay, booster set. Okay, stage separation and ignition. Okay, we have two engines. Launch escape system separation. Whoa. It is vigorous. Well, I have the MLI layers on here, so that's working out. Just wanted to make sure about that, because we will use this to help us make orbit around the moon as well. Help us, it's not essential, nor will it do everything. Okay, and shut down. 241 by 222, and let's just go ahead and plot. The one problem is the one Kerbal who's out here, Orlorf. Orlorf. Orlorf is really high up. That might be tough to pick up. Okay, I think we'll just start with this and then do a mid-course adjustment for the rest. We will have to separate some fairings to get the solar panels out, though. Let's see, how is the communication situation? Uh, not good right now. Well, we're communicating through the geostationary sat satellite over the Indian Ocean, but we're going to lose communication with that pretty soon. West Coast is a long ways off. Hawaii is over here, but we just lost comms. So we might have to wait in orbit. Yep. I can't even change the... Now we picked it up. Yeah. Let's just wait in orbit. Uh, I'm still not super comfortable with the communications. I think the next orbit might be better. Good thing we had the MLI layers. But power is going down though. Okay, here I think we'll be alright. I think there are some ground stations around here. But also right through the node, I think we'll be communicating through that geostationary satellite. So that'll be fine. Uh, we're late, but we can go. Well, it's got to be too quick for me to stop it very easily. Uh, okay, stop. Alright, well, we'll build a correction into the mid-course adjustment here. The relative inclination is going to be weird. Well, we'll do a loose capture again, and... Correct the inclination high up per usual. How many ignitions do we have here? Eight more, so that's fine. Okay, but we need the solar panels. So let me just peek inside to which, see which locations will be best for that. Well, this panel will do. Why did they have to be fixed panels? I mean, 
They can't rotate, why? Okay, um, so... Sun... Up, I think. Well, I'm allowing it to hibernate and warp for this bit. So, we are recharging. Okay, all lined up. Well, mostly lined up. And selling fuel down. Wow, that took a long time to settle. Okay, and uh, let's kill rotation and quick ignition. Okay, we don't want any rotation. Okay, finishing that up. Okay, well, the inclination is pretty severe, but we know what to do about that. Okay. So, reorient to the sun again, and then we'll be on our way. Okay, we are in Mars SOI. We will capture loosely as planned. And let's start turning. Okay. Ignition. Oh, one ignition failure. Um, okay, well, it looks like tilting them worked out in this case. We're only using half the pitch. There's a bit of a wiggle. But it's doing the trick. And we're getting close to the limit of yaw there. Seems okay so far, though. Um, I'll keep it to that orbit. So, it was just an ignition failure, though. That isn't a total failure of that engine. So... It can still be reignited, I think. And I will want to do that for the inclination. We went lower than I wanted to, but whoops. Uh, yeah, no, it should be fine. Alrighty, on to the node. And then we'll be able to get rid of this somewhat eccentrically painted stage. Oh, I, I never extended the antennae here. So we can do that. Just in case. Really need to get the other two solar panels out. Right now we're using hibernation mode, but obviously once the kerbals get on, we shouldn't. Okay, well, let's try and activate the other engine. Selling the fuel down. Eventually, eventually the fuel will get settled, I'm sure. Got plenty of RCS fuel here. Okay, and ignition. Well, looks like we have both of them. Well, luckily that is going to be a suborbital trajectory for the stage we are releasing. So that is good. And... Yep, separation. And... That ready. And let's get the solar panels out. So they don't rotate, so it doesn't matter. And ignition. Okay, well, um, I think I'll leave it like that for now. Uh, so how about to round out the episode, we pick up one of those kerbals. So I'll go with the, obviously we have to do it with the lander, because otherwise they can't get in. And then we'll have to make sure to be able to transfer the kerbal over. Okay, where's the lunar lander? Oh, I should have oriented it properly. But anyway, it probably won't hurt. Okay, we definitely want to shut off this engine. Lock these, this fuel here. Control from here. Okay. And so with that, we have 1,285 to work with for all the picking up people's sort of thing. Analysis debris is right there and we're in the higher orbit, so that's good. Mm. 
quickly. We, we can bundle uh, maneuver to get down to the lower orbit with the inclination change here. Oh, we should have started to burn. Wow, it takes a while. Oh, now it says start burn in three minutes. This is confusing. Yep, during time warp, it's different. Uh, okay, yeah, it's just constantly different when it comes to that burn time. Okay, anyway, ignition. Well, that's as close as approaching as 60 kilometers and it'll only take 50 meters per second to match. This can carry two people. So we can get the two lower ones immediately. And we really need to orient for electric charge here. Um, let's see, we should, probably should do a quick retro burn to get the closest approach distance down to a minimum, and then we should point at the sun. Oh, pra uh, practically no difference at this point. Oh, there we go. Uh, it's weird. Okay, five kilometers will be fine for now. And gosh, we're not getting enough sunlight like that? Okay, let me just turn it myself. Okay, that's better. Let me switch it to SAS and make sure it's focusing on the sun. Okay. So yeah, just five meters per second it says there now. Yeah, we should actually probably light the engine. Okay, we are in render range. How many more ignitions do we have here? It's still 33, so I'm going to use one. Honestly, the Kerbal should be able to close the 300 meter gap, right? Okay, 100 meters. That's all the help I'm going to give the Kerbal. What is the Kerbal even in? No, oh, let's go over there and see. Oh, one of these. It's always one of these. Okay, EVA, endless. Uh, food, water, oxygen. No, it's not depleted. It's there. As long as there's EVA propellant. Okay, where is our other vessel now? Oh, there it is. Analyst Kerman is a pilot. Okay. And grab. And board. Okay, Analyst Kerman is in. It occurs to me we don't have much science on this except for, you know, what the Kerbals can do on the surface. That is worth pointing out. Anyway, for now, we have got one Kerbal in, though uh, that Kerbal is not showing up quite properly in there, probably because of the resized cabin and everything. Uh, so, things are looking up. We've got the return vessel in orbit. We may just land with Analyst Kerbin right, uh, Kerman right now, or we could pick up another one and land with both of them. We will have to see. Next time, there will be an attempted moon landing. Uh, and we will see what happens with that. So, on that note, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below, and I'll see you next time.